right, guys, a lot more games to get to. I mean, these games are really, really good. Detroit and Minnesota. You know, Raheem, I feel like regression is coming for the Vikings. The problem I have with this game is now the loss of Aiden Hutchinson and how the Lion defense handles the loss of Aiden Hutchinson. I got to imagine Detroit, after what they did to the Cowboys with everybody watching them on Thursday, on uh, Sunday in that late afternoon window, I don't have a strong lean on this game. It's kind of a stay away for me. I almost feel like there's going to be so much public money all over the Lions. I don't know about that. I, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, because I think, you know, obviously the, the Minnesota Vikings are, you know, one of the two undefeated teams right now. So a lot of people are going to want to back the Vikings. You think now, so? Even yeah. even with their suspect London performance and Sam Donald, I feel like they still brought the cash in. No, I get it. I get it. There are a lot of preconceived notions, though, regarding the Vikings and how, listen, Detroit was a top five favorite to go and win the Super Bowl, and now they're starting to flex on teams. I kind of feel like the narrative this week is going to be people going to the window and betting the Lions. Well, I think you're right because this line moved today. I mean, as we're taping it, when I sat down and started my research in the notes, this line was two and a half. It's down to one and a half right now on the FanDuel Sportsbook. Minnesota's still favored one and a half at, at home um hard game for me to handicap aside because i want to see detroit how they try and account for the aiden hutchinson loss it's a super significant loss obviously um the play for me is the over it's sitting right now i think at 49 and a half and um one thing that i really like about the the, the way this thing might play out no quarterback in the nfl has been better against the blitz than jared goff Think wow. about that for a minute. Didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. His, his success rate and his depth of target has been excellent against the Blitz. Um, so I do think that these two innovative, offensive-minded teams are going to be able to put up points on each other, especially the, uh, uh, Detroit, you know, weakness in the secondary that Dallas could not take advantage of. But it, I think Minnesota – it looks like TJ Hawkinson is going to play. So – let, let Minnesota, with all its weapons, be out there against this sort of vulnerable Detroit secondary. And if the pass rush for Detroit isn't getting home, I think we're going to see points. Because I'm not worried about Detroit with its weapons against um, this, this Vikings defense. The Vikings defense has been incredible. But this is a divisional matchup. I do think we're going to see some points um, this weekend, fellas. So to House's point, you know, Goff is completing 70% of his passes on 12.1 yards per attempt. So he knows how to handle this Flores defense. And if you look back, the last time the Vikings beat the Lions was week two of 2022. So the Lions have actually dominated this Vikings team over the last two seasons. So that's a concern for me. I actually, like, I would be looking towards the Lions. And, you know, a lot of people are going to talk about the loss of Aiden Hutchinson. I do think that's a big deal, particularly when the Lions get into uh, a game state where the other team is chasing points. That's when it's going to hurt the most. But I look at this Vikings team, and if you watch their performance in London, when Aaron Jones got hurt, that game changed everything. Like, that changed everything about the game. So the offense isn't the same without Aaron Jones. And even though he practiced on Monday, he's still week to week. And, you know, House mentioned that TJ Hawkinson – might play but they haven't made a definitive decision on that they actually said he might not play so i think we need to be watching the engine report for those two and that's probably a big part of why that line moved because if those two guys are out and this is you know a battle back and forth i would rather have the lions offense than the vikings offense now obviously the vikings defense is better but if golf knows how to handle that vikings defense and look, Aaron Rodgers had one of his best games of the season against this Vikings team. And Aaron Rodgers hasn't been good. So what is Jared Goff in this Lions offense going to do? I think I would lay it with the Lions, even though it seems square. <laughs>